One of the top things about living in this lucky country of ours is that we're spoilt for choices when it comes to restaurant cuisine. But for my money, nothing beats the classics. So when I'm talking restaurant food, I'm talking French. Now, the French love nothing more than a rich sauce, so let's start there. All you need is some mayo, this stuff, which is a herb called dill, and some Dijon mustard, that's French. Mix a couple of teaspoons of each of these together and let it infuse. Sound like we're in a restaurant now, Leo? You see how I'm finally chopping this lettuce? Well, we in the restaurant game call that a chiffonade. That's French too. And for a bit of bite, I'm gonna add a couple of these tiny onions. They're called echelots. They're French too. And a couple of these little guys, which is called the cornichon, which is basically a French pickle. And finally, you need to get yourself some A-grade beef. This is 100-day grain-fed high fillet. And it's worth about $30 a kilo. So let's put it through the mincer. Now, food is about aesthetics as well as taste. So why not form your meat into attractive shapes? I've decided to shape these into discs. Then sear these in a smoking skillet for about three minutes on each side. While they're cooking, let's prepare some cheese. Now, you don't want to overpower the dish with a cheese that's too mature. So I've chosen Port Salut, French again. And we call this shaved cheese. Now, we can put this baby together and serve it with a brioche. That's a French bread roll. And there you have it. Two all beef seared dish, dill and Dijon mustard sauce, a chiffonade of greens, shaved cheese, cornichon and echelots on a sesame seed brioche. Would a dish by any other name smell as sweet? Now that's a pretty well rounded meal in itself, but sometimes as a special treat, I like to serve it with a bowl of pommes frites. That's French for fries. So there you have it, Leo. A recipe from one of the country's favourite restaurants. Of course, being a restaurant recipe, it does cost a lot more. But that's the thing with restaurant recipes. It's always more expensive when you're cooking with fresh verbs. Bon appétit.